storage in a home is so important. We can never have enough. And I would say we're a bit like goldfish. We grow to the size of our home. If we have a bigger home, we just have more stuff. And I remember when I was in the programme Perfect Housewife, there was a woman who sort of said to me, she said, oh, well, it's all right for you. You've just got a big house. I've got a little house. That's why mine's a mess. And my answer to her was, and it will always be, lady, actually, I wasn't quite that rude. I said, whatever her name was, and I've forgotten it now. I said, if you had a bigger house, do you know what you'd do? You'd just make a bigger mess. And as far as I'm concerned, you have to be able to keep a small house tidy. And I live now in a flat. It's a three bedroom flat. It's not tiny, tiny, but it's certainly not big. So when I moved into here, I really had to think, apart from the fact I was like downsizing madly, I had to think, and if I'm trying to explain this to you, I sort of, I had to think like a caravaner, somebody who's got one of those RVs, those mobile homes, where every single area that you've got, every square inch really, really counts. So I don't live a minimal existence at all. I'm not one of those Marie Kondo people because I like things and I like buying things and I like rearranging things. As you can see, I've got stuff, but it's quite well organized. And the other reason for getting yourself organized is actually not because you're being pretty and silly about everything. It's actually because it gives you a much easier life. It means that when you're looking for your, your glasses, I know that all my sunglasses are in here. A little collection for any glasses that I own, I'm a bit short-sighted, are all in there. And if I've put them down, when I'm you know, tidying up quickly, I'll put them in there, because I always know they'll be there. So I don't have to go, oh, where are my glasses? What have I done? Where are they? I know they're gonna be in there. And also, this is a bit anal, is the, the little screwdriver. You know the screws come out of your glasses or something, you need to tighten them up. The little screwdriver, it's in there. Of course it is. But honestly, it makes your life easier. It means then you don't have to spend so much time in your home. You can go out and do things. And when you come back to your home, it's really organized. And when people come round, you're not going, oh my God, there's people coming round. What am I going to do? The place is in a mess. It's never in a mess really, because it can't get in a big mess. It can get in a little mess and everything goes away really quickly, but it can't really get in a big mess. <laughs> So these shelves I've got in this apartment are all from Ikea. They are not ridiculous expensive. Ikea do them all the time in different colors, but I really like the white glossy one. And um, you can buy them in different sections. So you buy them in either a four section or this one that I've got, which is an eight section, but I just love them. I really, really do. Anyway, in these, baskets at the bottom which I did repaint the the way they're sold they're okay but they're slightly creamy and I just repainted them up and I thought they looked a lot better this one here I've got candles most of my candles I go to TK Maxx <laughs> buy lots of candles um, what have I got in this one? Oh yeah, my sunglasses and glasses and reading glasses and glasses for distance are all in there. Um, I've got games in there. Um, and what have I got in there? Oh, I've got camera stuff in there. And then actually, this one's my duffer. Because it's actually got my sky box in. <laughs> I took, in fact, I took... I pulled it all apart and we took a top out of it. I mean, that actually isn't one at all. It's got a sky box. Um, more camera things in there. Oh, and then th these are really just like office things, cards, office things, paper, sellotape all in that one. But uh, it's just storage. Because I don't want to look at any of these things. I want to put them all away because I don't really want to see them, but I want to know where they are. And then there's a logic as well to my arranging. So um, this is my sofa, obviously. So here I've got a basket with all my remote controls in. And the reason I've got hand cream in here.
here is because oh, I never actually get around to putting hand cream on. So if I put it in there and I'm watching the television, I'm more likely to put it on. And then here, um, I've got, you know when you're sitting on the sofa and you just want something like cozy around you. So I've rolled them up and it's always easier to roll things and I've put them in a basket. So there's different weights in there. There's two of them, so I might snuggle under the big one, but smaller ones there and they're really cozy. But the other reason they're in the basket as well is the fact that I can pick that up and when I'm vacuuming, I just have to pick the basket up, vacuum underneath, job done. <laughs> We never have enough storage, even in a kitchen. Of course, you're going to put things out. But if you're going to put things out, then make them look nice. And I use a lot of baskets. Oh, and also use sort of logic about where you put things. So, um, for instance, kettle's there. Um, I've got one of these rods on here. A bit by Ikea. Sounds like an advert, but I went and bought it. Um, and then I bought this little basket because it was in TK Maxx and I thought it was really pretty and I put it on there and I've got spoons because everybody when they come and make a cup of tea they go, oh I go, there's a kettle, where are the spoons? They're there and there are the mugs, there's the tea and there are other teas and things in there. So there's a logic to it, always a logic to it. Little boxes like this which are very pretty. Actually, I love this. I really like it. Go into a herbal tea. Make your choice. Um, pepper, salt, olive oil, nuts. Always have nuts out. Do you know why I have nuts out? Because if I've got nuts out, I'll stick my little mitts in there and I won't be looking for biscuits and chocolate and other things that I probably shouldn't be eating. I try to keep them out of the house, but of course they end up in the place. Nuts, always have a nut jar. So just think about where you put things and you can decant things. Um, there's some little organic chocolatey things in there and I buy these kiln jars. And if you put them in a kiln jar, they sort of look healthier, don't they? <laughs> but granola, I've put it in a jar. I haven't got enough cupboard space to have my granola in the cupboard. So if I'm gonna put it out, I'm going to put it out on the top just make it look nice, because you don't want the bag of granola out there. As nice as the bag is, I don't really want to be looking at it. Comes into the hall, and they need somewhere to put their shoes, if they're gonna take their shoes off, so I have a basket for that. And then this basket has got things in like home gym stuff. There you go, weights there, a pulse roll, which is vital, um, and various other things, weights and things that you don't use that often, but the fact that you've got them by osmosis makes you feel fit. All of us put things under the bed, especially if you've got a bed like this, which plainly has got a lot of space underneath. But then what happens is everything gets shoved under the bed, it's dusty, it's dirty, you can't actually clean under the bed easily and that's not a very good thing, is it? So, my solution for this is you buy things to put things in if you're going to use your bed space. So I bought these baskets, I actually got them from the holding company, I think there was a sale on, so I bought three of them and they've got all sorts of things. In fact, these are my emergency presents, so you can't see these, just in case you're a friend of mine and you get an emergency present. Um, but under here, I think I've got scarves in one and I've got gloves and hats and stuff in another one. It's great use of space, but still clean and efficient. And that's what we want to be. Hi guys, so I'm Georgia and I was helping Anthea film yesterday and she was showing me all her amazing tips and tricks on how she basically stores away her stuff. So I thought I would share with you guys my room and we can see some of the ways that I could use her storing tips and tricks and apply them to my mess. Okay, so this is my room and it's kind of messy tidy. So <laughs> I kind of need to organize these drawers as I was pulling stuff out of them this morning, looking for something to wear and put this away. 
and organise these towels. Um, put this stuff away. But other than that, it's pretty like tidy. So it's not too bad. But one of the things that Anthea has is the storage under her bed. And it's like these big boxes of things that she can just put all her stuff in, pull it out, hoover underneath, and then push it back in. Whereas I've just got bundles of shoes and dust. And this section here, which is also great storage, but I kind of need to sort it out as I just shove my swimwear and gym wear into it and then try and shut it. But often this happens and I have to squidge it in. So I should definitely take a few tips from Anthea and try and organize my mess. 